Hey, what's up guys? Quinn here. Welcome back to another video. For today's video, we're going to be walking through the top 10 tank mates for the Jack Dempsey Cichlid. The Jack Dempsey is one of our all-time favorite cichlids, and Troy is going to be joining me as we walk through this list. So, let's dive right in. The Jack Dempsey is one of the best cichlids out there. They have great coloration as adults, they're very hardy fish, and they don't need a massive tank to keep, unless you're keeping them with a lot of tank mates. I've had my Jack Dempsey cichlid, Jack, for nearly four years now, and he's an incredible fish with awesome color. So if you've been following along on our channel, you know that we set up an aquarium for Chicago Bulls head coach, Billy Donovan, who also happens to love the Jack Dempsey cichlid. We even got a shout out on national TV. The Cichlid Brothers in Chicago built him a fish tank. And his favorite fish in the fish tank, Jack Dempsey. <laughs> so it was an awesome shout out by Jeff Van Gundy. And just a very cool moment for Cichlid Bros and just the aquarium hobby in general. Very exciting times for Cichlid Bros. Jack Dempsey's are sometimes known for being aggressive, but in my experience, they haven't been much at all. If you provide a large tank with plenty of line of sight breaks and appropriate tank mates, you can actually keep them with a decent number of fish. So I'm gonna pass it over to Troy for number 10 on the list. Coming in at number 10 on the list is one of my favorite cichlids of all time, and that is the Oscar. As usual, it's tough to put the Oscar too high on the list when it comes to tank mates because each Oscar has such a different personality. I've seen some that are completely docile and can be in a tank with any type of fish, whereas some can be so aggressive that they have to be left alone. For the most part though, they will work really well with a Jack Dempsey. They are both very hardy fish, which you'll find at a lot of your big box stores, so it's easily accessible to get both the Oscar and the Jack Dempsey. You'll have the most luck keeping them together if you have a big tank with a lot of line of sight breaks so that each fish has their own territory and can claim different parts of the tank. The Oscar has maybe the best personality of any cichlid out there, so it's rewarding just to keep them on their own. But when you can pair them with the appropriate tank mates like the Jack Dempsey, it can make for a really awesome tank. When I hear about anyone having issues keeping the Oscar and the Jack Dempsey, it's usually because the tank is too small. With a 75 gallon or less, you're really taking a risk keeping them together. So if you can provide a tank larger than 75 gallons, and they would usually make for great tank mates. Overall, the Oscar is an awesome choice. If you can get it to work with a Jack Dempsey, it's one of the best tank setups you can have. Next on the list, and coming in at number 9, is the Pleco. Plecos can really be perfect tank mates for a variety of different cichlids, and the Jack Dempsey is no different. Not only can Plecos help you out with algae in your tanks, but they also come in a lot of different varieties and some really cool variations. I have a couple exotic plecos in my 75 gallon aquarium right now and they're awesome whenever they do come out. Another great thing about plecos is that they do hide out so they're usually not picked on from tank mates and most plecos don't show any aggression towards other cichlids in the tank. There are some plecos that get really big so I might stay away from some of those if you don't have a very large tank, but overall a pleco is going to make a really nice addition to most Jack Dempsey tank setups. Severums are usually great tank mates for Jack Dempsey's due to their size and temperament. They get fairly large, but are fairly docile most times. They can hold their own in a tank with a Jack Dempsey without being too aggressive themselves. Severums are South American cichlids, so they have a slight difference in water parameters, but usually that's not too much of an issue. There are multiple color variations of the Severum, including the gold, green, turquoise, and even the mouth brooding type that I have. Severums and Jacks are both hardy cichlids that can go well together, and I would recommend a tank size over 75 gallons. Silver Dollars make the list for most American cichlids as a great tank option. They are best kept in a group and can be a great dither fish, meaning they provide activity in the tank, which brings other fish out of hiding more often, and diffuse aggression by diverting attention from other tank mates. They are also really cool fish with a few different varieties and unique shape. I really like American cichlid tanks when there's a group of schooling fish swimming in the mid-level of the tank, and the silver dollar is perfect for that. Coming in at number six on the list is the rainbow cichlid. These guys are Central American cichlids just like the Jack Dempsey, so they do share similar water parameters and diets. 
The Rainbow Cichlid gets up to about five to six inches in total length, so they're not really the tank busters that other Jack Dempsey tank mates might be. And I've noticed that they do really hold their own, similar to a convict in the sense that they're smaller, but they can be feisty and fight away larger tank mates, such as the Jack Dempsey. I had a Rainbow Cichlid for about a year, which then went into Coach Donovan's tank, which has a bigger Jack Dempsey at the moment. They get along great, and I really like that pairing for a tank, especially if you don't have one of those larger tank setups. For number five on the list, we're gonna keep this a little more broad and just say Vieja in general. There are a lot of different types of Vieja that could make sense with a Jack Dempsey. Most of the Vieja species will get large and probably larger than the Jack Dempsey. So you wanna keep that in consideration when you have your tank set up and make sure you have a big enough tank size to accommodate all of them. The footage here is from MBL Aquatics Tank. We did a video on this a while back that we'll leave in the upper right hand corner. Also make sure to go ahead and give him a follow on Instagram, he has a great channel. But actually in that video we gave him one of our Jack Dempsey's which fits perfectly in that tank with different bigger Central American cichlids. He has Viejas and Spillum, Argentia, and many other different types in this tank that really go well with the Jack Dempsey. The Vieja are some of the most colorful cichlids you'll find in the hobby, and if you can mix them with the Jack Dempsey, it makes for an awesome tank. An MBL Aquatics tank here is just a great example of that. It's one of the coolest tanks I've ever seen in person. Coming in at number four on the list is the Nicaraguan cichlid. The Nicaraguan cichlid is also called the Macaw, and they are definitely one of the most underrated tank mates for a Jack Dempsey. Their overall size and their temperament matches the Jack Dempsey very closely, so they make for really good tank mates where both hold their own but aren't overly aggressive usually to each other. The males will stay more yellow and tan colored while the females have a lot of bright blue and red in their body. Like any cichlid on this list, if you get a breeding pair of Nicaraguan cichlids in a tank, all bets are off and there's likely gonna be aggression issues. So just keep that in mind. When my Nicaraguan cichlid laid eggs, she was extra aggressive guarding those eggs, but wasn't too bad. I don't have a male in that tank, so it wasn't too much of an issue, but had there been one, there likely would have been some major aggression issues in that tank. So if you follow the typical steps of managing aggression, like in the video we posted last week, you should have no issues keeping the Jack Dempsey and Nicaraguan cichlid together. Also to note, the Nicaraguan cichlid is Central American, so that's another reason why they work so well with the Jack Dempsey, with the water parameters, diet, and overall tank setup being the same. So it probably isn't gonna surprise you that the Green Terror is high on our list. Not only are they a favorite cichlid of ours, but Joker here has been a great tank mate with Jack for almost three years. They've never had any issues with aggression and are two show-stopping fish. If you can provide a tank larger than 75 gallons and provide plenty of hiding spots and territories, the Green Terror makes for a great choice. You can't really beat the coloration on these guys. The only reason they aren't number one on this list is they are South American cichlids and some people may not want to mix regions. But I love the combination and will always recommend it to others if they have the appropriate tank size. Coming in at number two on the list is the Firemouth Cichlid. Firemouths are Central American cichlids and they have a very similar temperament to the Jack Dempsey, usually. They get to about six inches in length, have awesome red color along the bottom, and get red slash blue in their fins as well. I've noticed that these two do well together if they have plenty of rock caves and driftwood pieces in the tank to give them their own territory. A 75 gallon would work well with the Firemouth, Jack Dempsey, and a few others possibly. You get some nice contrasting colors with the Firemouth, along with a manageable aggression level, and they share water parameters and diets. It's a great option. And last, but certainly not least, number one on the list is the Convict Cichlid. Convicts are Central American cichlids as well are widespread in the hobby due to their extremely hardy nature and ease of breeding. They also stay small, so their tank size isn't a huge issue for beginners. Like many others on this list, provide territories and line of sight breaks, and you can manage some of their aggression towards others. They can be feisty little cichlids, but as long as you don't have a breeding pair, it usually isn't too bad. I actually had my female convict lay eggs a few times, and she defend half the tank. It only happened a few times though, and the majority of the time, they are great tank mates. 
I've had this convict with the Green Terror and Jack Dempsey for over three years and they've been awesome together. So lastly, just a few honorable mentions that narrowly missed the list, starting with the Electric Blue Acara. The Electric Blue Acara can make for a great tank mate sometimes, however they are South American while the Jack Dempsey is Central American, and the Electric Blue Acara can be on the more docile side, so sometimes I recommend the more peaceful cichlids for the Electric Blue Acara. I hate when that type of fish has nipped up fins, it really takes away from the beauty of that fish. And on a similar note, many types of geophagus could also work with the Jack Dempsey. Just as a generalization, most geophagus will be slightly less aggressive than the Jack Dempsey. I have seen them hold their own, but sometimes, again, the fins getting nipped up by the Jack Dempsey can be a little annoying, especially if you have really nice geos with trailers and really nice coloration in their fins. And then lastly is the Texas Cichlid. This one is a good match because they share similar water parameters and they do match aggression with aggression at times. However, I've noticed that the Texas Cichlid can be on the more aggressive end, so if you don't have a large enough tank, there can be issues with the Texas Cichlid. This is another combination that is in Coach Donovan's tank that we're watching very closely. It's worked so far, but there's always chances of issues with an adult Texas Cichlid and an adult Jack Dempsey. So overall, the Electric Blue Acara, the Geophagus, and the Texas Cichlid could make the list and likely work in a lot of circumstances. However, it narrowly missed our top 10. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you found this list helpful. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week.